New this morning, unemployment fell to 10.2% last month and job growth slowed to 1.8 million, underscoring what Americans already know. The country needs a financial bailout, but talks have stalled in Washington. Coronavirus relief in jeopardy. It's most unfortunate. We're still um, a considerable amount apart. Instead of waiting it out in Washington, some senators have already headed home. We are willing to do a smaller deal. When they said a skinny proposal, it was anorexic. With no deal, President Trump is expected to issue executive orders today to temporarily restore federal unemployment checks, halt evictions, suspend student loan payments, and defer payroll taxes. An executive order will leave millions of people out. It will be litigated. It won't be effective. And things will get worse. The president just back from Ohio, where Governor Mike DeWine first tested positive for COVID-19, then negative in the same day. A new forecast predicts 300,000 deaths by December without extreme measures. President Trump turning his focus to Joe Biden. No religion, no anything. Hurt the Bible, hurt God. He's against God. With this controversial statement last night, Biden responding that his faith is at the core of who he is. Now back to the money and the negotiations. Tomorrow, the small business loan program, the Paycheck Protection Program, that expires, which means no new applications for $130 billion just sitting in the bank unused. Tracy Potts, NBC News.